how to make a delicious cucumber salad that is perfect for your luteal phase. And so the thing about the luteal phase is that it's the longest phase that we have. And with that, it means that you know, there's kind of two sides to the luteal phase. You know, the follicular phase is like seven days. Your ovulatory window can be up to six days. But your luteal phase is like 12 to 16 days. That's a long time. So when you start your luteal phase, you're still kind of coming off ovulation, like you are coming off ovulation, so you're still energized. You know, light, fresh foods can still be your vibe. But as you careen toward your bleed and toward your menstrual phase and the second half of your luteal phase, so from like day seven or eight onward, then you will start to notice that you crave more warm, hearty stews, soups, you know, um, cauliflowers, like those deep hearty root vegetables that you find in your luteal phase food guide. And if you don't have the food guide, you can get it by following the link in the comments. So for this salad, it's like a curry vibe just because, I mean, I love curry, but it's so refreshing because it's with cucumber. And so just a long English cucumber, I'm using chives. Now you could use cilantro, you could use basil. I mean, I'll leave that in your corner. I'm also using just a garlic clove. So the thing about fat is a lot of people are scared of fat. They don't want to gain weight. Fat doesn't make you fat, honey. Sugar does. And so when you are looking for things like mayonnaise or anything that's like prepared, look for a few things. So this is mayonnaise. And I don't like canola oil because canola oil is not good for your hormones, not good for your body. It's just, it's not great. Um, and so I like to use things that are not necessarily canola based. And a lot of mayo is vegetable oil based. But chosen foods, this one, I love it. Get up close to that. <laughs> chosen foods and it's made with avocado oil and so this I like. And so this is going to sort of like cream up this dressing and have it like dance across our cucumber. And so just a scoop of that into a food processor. Actually I'm going to do two scoops. Two scoops. And you can get this recipe by downloading the cycle syncing diet in the comments and then I send emails with recipes and all kinds of jazz. So feel free to join. I mean, I would suggest it if you want this whole recipe. So then we're going to add just a little bit of coconut milk, and that's going to just give it a lot more creamy richness. That's what we're about here. And then, I'm just going to grab a fork. So you could make your own curry paste, and I would give you a two-hand clap very loudly, like an ovation. But what I'm using is Thai Kitchen. This is the green curry paste. They have red curry paste. They have yellow curry paste. I like it because it's vegan, and it's also gluten-free, and it's, like, on the up and up, and it's just really deeply flavored. Like, you can make your own, but why reinvent the wheel? That's kind of like my stance on it. So I'm just going to chop up this garlic clove just so that it mixes in when we put it into the food processor. Unless you have like a super boss food processor and you just put it in whole, but this is a baby one. So I'm just gonna help it out a little bit. A little bit of salt, not too much initially. I always season everything, but then we're gonna taste it and see where we're at. We're gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. And then the last thing that we're gonna add is just a little bit of rice vinegar. And that's going to complement the curry beautifully. When you're buying prepared sauces or anything like that, you a, want to make sure that, you know, the ingredients are ones that you feel confident with and feel comfortable with and think that are, like, upholding your health and your cycle. But then you also want to boost them. You don't just buy them and make them and consider it done. You need to add. So we're adding garlic. We're adding a little bit of mayo. We're making this better because that's really just a base, a starting point. And so we're going to blend. So once it's been blending, you just want to give it a taste. That's just for me, so I'm using my finger, but I mean, be discretionary with that. If you're cooking for people, don't do it. Um, a little bit more salt for me. And then, and then we're just going to set this aside because we are going to move on to just getting the cucumber ready. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. So for the cucumber, what you want to make sure that you do when you're working with cucumber or anything that has like a real watery seed is we're just going to half it. Okay, so using this 
spoon, you just want to scoop out the middle. That's going to water the salad down. Unfriendly. It's an unfriendly look. Especially if you're making, like, this is a salad that truly will last in your refrigerator dressed for, like, two to three days. So it's super convenient, but it only keeps its integrity if you get rid of all this, like, liquidy nonsense. And then we're just going to chop them into half moons like that. Why half moons, you ask? Half moons, really, because it's just the quickest way to do it. After we've, like, scooped out the seeds. If you want it to be, like, a 